Blessed, welcome to another episode of the My Two Cents Quick Chat. I'm your host, Tulax the 876 Rebel. And today's episode of the Quick Chat is powered by Rebel 13 Collections, where creativity lives. We also do everything printing except fingerprinting. We also offer the finest and best in embroidery services in the island. Check us out at 876-8989-888 and also to get direct access to the updated merchandise. You can simply follow us at Rebel 13 Collections on Instagram. Alright, so today episode of the quick chat and I'm not new to Uno as it relates to my content. See, today episode that deal with the further decay and degeneration of our women in society and the wickedest part of it, all the moral decay and everything we're going to see happen right in front of our eye. We live for see we reach a point where women are now proud prostitutes, proud gold diggers, proud side chicks, proud porn stars. Can you believe it? Hey, the devil know him either. Because you see, a society without women is no society at all. You know? Because of the female energy keep everything together. Now today I'm going to play one video. Where me not going to tell you that I can't believe it. Because I see it and when I say it, I'm not dealing with wicked. In a today world, the whole concept of morality is very unpopular. Now that I can't believe so I live for see. And in today's case, the footage is courtesy of the Jamaica star. I now can Get a reaction to the entire clip. If you don't want to see the entire clip, just go on over the Jamaica star. But I lose half of the Jamaica star. I don't understand what go on with journalism in a Jamaica right now. Even journalists were supposed to know better than idiot. See? Alright, before I go into more chatting, see the video. So for people who don't know, you 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 perform in porn. Mm -hmm. How did you get involved in that? How did you start? Um and when? Mm, it was around COVID time, you know. <laughs> COVID make everybody turn adult content creator. Yeah, so it was COVID time and, you know, no so no source of income. So I turned to porn. And, you know, I tried to. Didn't like it at first, but I did have some idea behind the porn industry because I used to be a camera a couple of years before, you know, OnlyFans. So it was pretty much easy. And then I got into porn and then love it. All right, and so I'm going to talk about she do OnlyFans then got into porn and then love it you see how oh, only fans come to the people i'm like it innocent only fans is just a way to promote angelic prostitution sinless immaculate prostitution so after a while when you start accept only fans automatically you accept full-on head-on prostitution pun intended What's a regular day for you like? I'm a pretty much a regular, regular boring person. I'm boring. So, alright, when we get up, you know, the form my phone or we'll be working online or something and just, that's just basically it. You know, cook, clean, my wife material, you know. Yeah, so, yeah, pretty much it my day would be like. <laughs> oh, what she just say? She a wife material? But you say a porn star, we don't want to say the comedy. Hmm? Dave Chappelle never figure around man. You got jokes for fucking days. Wife material. Bitch, wife material and sell her things. You can cook, you can clean and this and that. So you automatically mix up cooking and cleaning with being wife material. I that you just a while ago. I am a, you know, a quiet and very much reserved person. You know, a different personality from what you would have seen me online. So, you know, the Sasha and the Gabe Teaser is basically two different personalities. And then most of them don't in a life when they can't find them and they say they come with a bullshit excuse. Like, because remember them face out the publicly and a couple of them and they try to get now. Know them as a porn star. So hear some of them more time. Oh no man, that's just, I'm an alter ego. Bitch, yeah, your alter ego have two different front. Oh, you're going to explain that part then. Eh? You and your alter ego share the same ras front, so no work out that. 
I mean, I want to treat some say, yeah, your alter ego can go suck your mother. That's what most man think. We want a wife. So the wife material something there, where you are talking about, meaning now which material trick you, but you are nowhere near wife material. Mama. I'm tired for telling you. Say, man, no want them girl with them. A lot of your videos mm -hmm. are you just roll up somewhere yes. and find somebody. Mm -hmm. Firstly, is that real? Is that a complete stranger? It's real. It's the stranger. It's, it's real. a stranger. Yeah. That's why I make my name for myself, like doing content with random stranger. That's why I'm unique. When I was getting up one day, I was talking to a friend of mine. I said, what content would I do when make my stand out? When make Jamaica know me as, you know, see me and know. So, oh, that's the girl from some sort of video. So I was like, hmm. I went to Lee's parking lot. I was walking up for like 30 minutes to an hour looking for a car that you know and then i saw a, a car and then i went over there and it was history from there so and then the police video was my first actually random and then everybody gravitated to it and then from there we started a random counting you know the only part of when i say oh my safety and that's the only thing i would mostly think of but my does sleep with a positive mind and just that's just it just that's that energy <laughs> right <laughs> so those safety concerns um were you were you afraid that um, this person would take advantage of you or um, would get an illness or something? No, I don't think about that, to be honest. You don't think about it? Mm -mm, Why I not? Don't. Um, me I don't. Do, what me I do is with faith. So, you know me I do it with faith. So I'm not thinking about the negative parts of it. Let me get this straight again. You walk around and you sleep with random men. No protection. I just faith. You have faith now, suddenly, when it's convenient to you. So godly now, the same God will tell them the type of woman they're supposed to be. And them disobey him constantly. Now she prays, she's clean. Mad people. So there, there aren't any re um, precautions that you take to ensure your safety in that regard? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do the safety after, like, get tested after, but before, that's what made my content unique. Like, you go right into it, risk it. You're risking it for the biscuit. Come on. This is a media house. Glamorizing, risking it for the biscuit. Two things for the world. The biscuit and the bag. Everybody I do anything at all for the biscuit. But I want to tell me the big lie. So I never expect that journalist yeah, to tell her even one time so she will live dangerous. Just tell me so I never expect to hear that person. Yeah, if I even try to give a mad girl yeah, some words of encouragement, some wise words of caution. But guess what? You know why she not tell her? Two of them are the same thing. Same job. you agree with our lifestyle automatically. So guess what? You couldn't it couldn't click in your head say yo, this wrong. Tell her this. You couldn't do that. Because whole on the same thing. Woman can wrong. Any decision woman makes you innocent. Even if she live dangerous. Um, is there anything that someone has done in one of these videos that you're like, no, 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 never again? No, not so. Experience so far, really. Holy, it, it wouldn't be a bad experience because I did a video with this soldier guy in Barbados, which was the most riskiest one of all my content because he almost got in trouble. So, he wanted me to delete the content, which no content that I do right now because you agreed and you're not gonna just have it for the phone and be like, Oh, like, delete the footage. I what blah, 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 blah. so that's you know. But that's over with and done, so I don't know what to call it. Yeah. When I realized the worst thing happened to her was when she got Barbados and do it with a soldier. And him decide say, him want to delete, because I'm getting in trouble, I never with him woman or what. Him want to delete, maybe him job. That's the worst thing ever happened to her. You know? Having to put our pride aside and our dignity and our self respect was of no consequence. You know? 
The worst thing happened to her is when one soldier decides same one. The content. We're going to give her the biscuit and the bag. If you delete. So now understand, say, people reach a point where they put on themselves totally a ground for what happened as long as they are being paid. Hmm? Only fans not sure no. So these women who complain repeatedly that they are being objectified. Only fans not sure no. So they don't have no problem being objectified as long as they're getting paid. Hmm? If you wear a police uniform, you are police. If you wear a nurse uniform, you are a nurse. You wear a doctor's uniform, you are a doctor. You wear a termite uniform, you are a termite. When you're out and buy your groceries on a Saturday mm -hmm. or just like get your cleaning supplies or something, do people recognize it? Yes, and they stare. And that caused me to go on the road less now because, you know, it's kind of weird because you're doing, you're advertising sex. And when people see you up on the road, especially men, they be like, oh, you know, I have two encounters so far. Be like, um, some other money now, you know, what you can do for me, mama. Like, they, that's how they are. <laughs> Like, um, they actually see me. Like, you can say, hi, I'm not offering service on the road, no. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. <laughs> they be like, yeah, that's how they approach me. You advertise yourself as a big jungle termite. And when the man walk up to her and say, oh, me have money now, you know. And he want the business. You know what she do? She don't say it plain. But them feel some type of way. Oh, this man is objectifying her. No, bitch. You wear the uniform. And they might treat you like the jungle termite that you Definitely are. And believe it or not, you feel some type of way. Let me you trickle. Because these type of people always act like them proud and them happy. That's them can fuck up me and your youth. Well, everybody see me as a fantasy, whether you're male or female. And that's what one of the things that affect me with wants in a relationship. And being who I am, a porn star. I don't think I would ever actually find love until I get out of this field. And even if I get out of this field, you know, it's still like I have something lingering if me if I find somebody. You know, so if I'm on approach me right now, I just feel like saying more something way more fulfilling at the bedroom. Where him thinks that me can give it. So yeah. That's such a sad it's sad very it's sad. sad. Sometimes it's you know, it's very sad, to be honest. Here they make it so long ago. Like she innocent. Aww. That's so sad. Sad your bum buckle at. This are the consequence of your actions when you make some serious choice for dash for your morals and your self-respect and your pride and your dignity and everything and you're willing to risk it for the biscuit. This are the result of that. So all you want to go out there, go take up your front and use it make money and then when your front wear out, no grit, no glam, no glue, no nothing no left. You want to come hold people good boy pick me now. After a million man run through you. Hmm? Me the next tool you sit down and slip up in your big hole. And doctor take days to get out that I made them charge you hundred million dollars to take out that stool to your dirty hole. Me the worst things happen to you in your life based on your dirty decisions where you make. Me some of the toughest things where life have to offer. Reach some dirty junker like them. Me and you get picked where you are like poison because of your lifestyle. Me could stop pet them people and act like, oh, they're humans too. They're not humans. These people disrupt the natural course where God set for man and woman boy. You see, same way me no wish. No good. For no boy, we can pint a gun for a picnic. For a baby mother. And just squeeze the trigger. Me no wish no good for them junk raya. We go out in a society and them sad in a blood clot. And that are the worst part. And them one come draw me and you pick me. Enough for them fucking out. With the media. When you see them glamorize them, I have them a profile and I make them look like somebody in a society. Make it look like you can be a big old whore and actually be a celebrity. Ladies, we might have watched this and attempted to live like them dog shit. Let me tell you, none of them are happy. Ask the cigarette seller them. Ask the alcohol sell about them girl. Everybody who sells cigarettes and alcohol know them junk here. Because they have to use something to distort the reality how them get involved in here. Yeah? Them not happy. Them look happy when they pass in you know, them nice car. But I'm tired for telling you, 
No amount of vanity can make you happy. You see, unless you're spiritually happy, a fuck you get, pun intended. You, you spoke a little bit the, that your DMs is wild. What's the wildest message you've ever received thus far? What's the wildest message I've ever received? Um, hmm. What's the wildest? Hmm. The thing, I don't want to call it wild, but a man messaged me one time say he worked at a specific place, and, which is a corporate big, big, big place though, and him and him friend them. It's a fun and they would like to do a gangbang. I wouldn't think that is the wildest, but I'm just thinking of something right now. Okay. Yeah, he wanted to do a gangbang with me and four of his friend, male friends. And that would be an interesting content that he said. So, so he wanted to start a new video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wanted to. So I think that would it would be the wildest, but that's something. Yeah. A man. Messenger. I say more him and four and friend them for clatter. And she actually look at so I said that wouldn't be the wildest. The journalist asked her why the wildest thing ever happened to her. And she, she couldn't she could hardly find one. Because she has done so many things that finding a wild one was so hard. And a man went half of a sleep with her, with him and him four friend. No wild. None at all. I want to make that sink in. She has sunk into such a jangrily, a termitely level, that she sleeping with five men one time. And I'm nothing shocking. Hmm? But you know what? Tell me. Say them jangrily, them dogs, you happy? Why do you love doing porn? Why do I love doing porn? Alright, there is. The, the honest answer would be I love doing porn because. It's a survival, and reason I would say survival because me doing porn, making me survive. So that's why I would love something that would make me survive. You know how you're the junker? You love doing porn, can't make you survive. You want to tell me say porn are the only means of survival from the earth start till now. You did have to sell it different. So you're telling me you now, say, the whole idea and the whole concept of commerce. No boil down solely for selling your front. And the wickedest part of me have to ask, you don't have nothing for report pan from where you are. You nothing that happened in the country is more important than talking to a junker like this. Junker, I get interview now. Termite, I get interview. At this, how we were all rich. You know how irresponsible it is. As far as me know, anybody will go up on an interview. You remember one time? Anybody take an interview and make it look like you should have just indulged in an unsafe sex. Society would have killed him because people did sexually conscious and sexually responsible. You know what tell me say an accident make everybody nowadays just seem so sexually irresponsible. I want big old journalists this sit down right here so I talk to somebody who openly, basically, after you post this. I go encourage people to just go out there randomly sleep with people. Believe it or not, even that little jankery have our jankery fans. We're dying to be just like her. You never know, see, that's how the termite factory work. One main termite come out, then she make two more, then I one. Then when you look, everybody a fucking termite. So when a journalist, somebody is supposed to educate it, but I level enough to get a job like this, sit down here, sir. And do an interview like this, and then them put it out. It is so fucking irresponsible. I mean, I don't care who like me. And don't get me wrong, at the end of the day, I fear life. But when your life is yours, you should have lived your own life in your own private space. When you come with your life public, people have a right to decide to them the one that in them blood clad face. So it have nothing to do with oh, it's her life and this and that. When I come typing in my comment section, I don't give a fuck. If me I go on nice family fun day, and when you look, you hear say some wholesome artist that come perform, and when you look, stage show time, and when you look on the stage in front of all of your picnic them where you carry, porn. Somebody I come to live porn on the stage. Oh, I feel them live that time there. I feel them live, right? Me not have a right to tell them, say me never bargain for this, because this is supposed to be a family fun day. That's why I'm a camera picking them. 
How me if you leave got family fund here end up a watch go go? When you have a dirty life, you know, keep it to yourself. Everybody have a right to live them dirty life. Believe it or not. But you have no right to go out there, go draw out other people to come live on a dirty life. We don't know. We hope you don't get it now. I'm tired for telling you, man. You see, if you want to know the junk or when you know, go in the comment section. Put videos like these. You want me to show you something? Look on this. So that comment just said, You know, the cloud girl alone. You know, ever a critic. Live on a better. You know, where that girl is trying to say. If she want the porn, I fear you know me at about. Some of you go and go read a book and get educated. Bad on a bad mind. Cause star I interview the girl and you na get even look pun. Uno go on like a she alone a porn star. It's her life. She do what she wanna do. And everyone is observing or finding love. Not matter your occupation. Well, she just talk about education, you know. Or what you do. Remember the prostitute where the bag of people them did one stone. Where God de say he that is without sin cast the first stone. Now for no do unimaginable things and then come upon you and a judge. Pathetic. Live your like, girl. I have to assume see I no LA Lewis sister this and that I just type of error. Yeah girl, I your front, you never borrow it. You know see how easy people use God when it's convenient. This is somebody where back up the fuckery with a girl here promote out a road. You know. Look here again. The same person this you know. Now for one don't even have the education like what the girl have. Some of them not even reach high school. Have have bay unwanted pregnancy. Hey, Louis, you have a girl over your son, brother. You don't need to get married, bro. You don't love the girl, man. She a very respectable person and she's very kind. So that one seem to me like she know her personally. Or you know that she kind. Well, according to the video, she walk around and sleep with random strangers for free. Just to get her video them out so she can sell them. Technically it's not free, but some part are free. So she yeah, she kind. In other aspect. Eh? But you see women with a mentality and all this, believe it or not. Go on, just go over star page, man. I want to see the comment section read. With the women where I defend this. We don't go look for no janker when I do it. Because most of the janker, I tell you, you know, I have a problem with the termite. I have a problem with the girl, them where I act like them a good girl. And secretly, I diss at their mentality. Don't go over the comment section and go see a woman. Write some fuck and make you tell about No, I just comment that. I just say something. No, she said what she agree with, brother. Anything where somebody comment on and write and take a stance for that is who they are. Now make them trick you. I see a lot of comments saying, I not judge you. How you feel judge something when somebody come tell you something is? You, you know, in a position, you don't have to judge it. It's dead. She just said it. Judge her when you are past judgment by somebody without proper knowledge of what you're saying. You are not judging this bitch. She come out, come say she's a bitch. What kind of judgment you that pass? Tell me in the comment section. I realize something. Everybody has have this thing. Not bashing you, but. Some people forget bash. It's bashing that used to keep people in check. Everybody turn hypocrite. Me no bash because you want everybody to like you. Fuck that bitch ya and any army a girl will stay like her. No 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 have to like me. Like on yourself. Like on yourself because it obvious and no 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 like and respect on a fucking self. That's why you degenerate to them levels ya. You no like on yourself. You no have to like me. Keep on a like for no bomb buckle itself. Can I eat on herself? And I mean, I eat on her fucking self. Any girl who stay like this should be hated and be an outcast in a society. I know everything for do because it can do. I don't give a fuck who like it and agree. I'm showing you a star. So you know, you know, lick on a bum buckle at the end of that. You know. See? Because you know, give that John Crayer. Visual interview. And I glamorize all of the fuck you know. And yes, what I'm about to show, Uno did put it out. But where is the visual interview for something that is as inspiring as this? Uno swear that's a proud inner city woman called to the bar. No. I no call Tan Bar Pan Chisam Avenue me attack. 
I know the bar where the rum made them stagger out and dog a ship on them. When you get called to the bar, you have to have brains because you become a liar. And me have a personal reason for proud of the liar. She named Quidian King from Bertram Lane of Maxfield Avenue. One Kingston 13. Big up yourself, mama. This just shows say. I know the whole of it on that. Susceptible to the consequences of the culture and the toxic mindset where the whole of it grew up in. Big up yourself, mama. Star never expound on this, you know. That's only more youth can encouraged by this. Star expound on somebody selling themselves. That's enough more girls can see that junk right and feel like it's a genuine way out with all of the risk and everything involved. The loser have found out for that as a major media house. So, I just want to tell all of the girls that probably I watch this and feel like, say, yo, I the right way to go. You saw any sadistic? Are you willing to risk it for the biscuit? You might turn statistic. 